Buen día, está en contacto radar. De quién habían hablado uno bravo. 5000 pies no va. I got it here. Okay. We did it. <coughs> is this where we order our nachos? <laughs> So wrong. <laughs> flight plans. Let's see if we can find our flight plan today. Uh, that ain't it. I'd like some extra cheese on my nachos, please. Yeah. Catalog. Oh, import. Oh, did we file? I didn't file on VATSIM. Thinking that we're probably... That's it there, right? Yeah, that's it. Contains unknown waypoints. Inviolid flight plan. Please try again. Screw you! Well, let's see what's... And we're going to do an invalid flight. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, so that's interesting. Let's, um, let's go to the whiteboard. What am I doing here? We're going to do like we do with all YOLO flights. Yeah. We're just going to wing it. Great. Yeah, that, that'll work. What the heck? Is this a new one? What is this? Yeah, it's a new iPad. It's a new... Oh, really? Yeah. Well... Oh. What? Whoa. Wait. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know! I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing! No, 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 no! <laughs> okay. Oh, um, here. Here, hang on. Six twos? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All the way... All, yeah, both... Um, yeah, six two, six two, six two. <laughs> there now everybody knows my unlock code. Yep, now you're screwed. Yep, that's good. We don't have any viewers. Thank gosh. All right, I'm going to open up that flight plan here. Unload. Import flight from Shim Brief, and that will be Yay, it's already there. All right, so we're going to take off on runway two. Okay. And we're just going to fly. Perfect. I like it. All right. Yeah, there's not much. So it's pretty much radar vectors all the way out. Okay. So in here, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to go back. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Welcome aboard. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? How about now? <laughs> okay. Um, so here's what we're going to do. MHTG, we're going to add a waypoint, and we're going to do MZPG. Enter. Oh. What? Wow. Your system doesn't know how to work outside the United States? But it knows where Marjorie Taylor Greene's at. Yep. Oh, dear lordy. <laughs> that ain't happening. Where's the Uber at? Um, yeah. <laughs> Maybe, um, yeah, this is weird. Punta Gorda MZPG. Did I put that in right? Yeah, MZPG. He said he Airport. can hear perfectly well what you just said. Awesome. Okay. Well, we can't use this for navigation. Nope. All we can do is use uh, autopilot. Wow. All right, let's fire it off. Okay, let's start flowing switches. Sir, yeah, there we go. Uh, how do you do this? Yeah. What happens if I touch this button? <laughs> Wait and balance. Notice charts and weather are all on board today, folks. Parking brake is cycle that it is set throttles are idle landing gear levers down and indicated yeah. batteries on avionics master on no, avionics master on yeah it is now on okay fuel check um yep we yep. got some we got fuel Let's i don't here. know what kind it is i think it's jp2 perfect so that slow burning oil uh whale oil I, well it's bunker fuel yeah the ships use That works. Flaps are up and indicated. Props idle to tent. 
Go ahead, idle detent those babies. <coughs> and I like the way they click. <laughs> Fuel levers are cut off. Yes, sir. <laughs> Panel lights. Uh, You're going to cut me off already? Yes. I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me kick your ass. <laughs> Uh, captain briefing pre-flight. Sit down. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. Transponder. Uh, so it uh, shows 7,000. We'll leave it there. Beacon is on. Doors and hatches are closed. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Anybody can just climb in. Yeah. Oh, wait. Somebody did. Somebody did. <laughs> I'm I'm that anybody. <laughs> Leads and blowers are off. Any avionics is set. Engine auto ignitions both on, sir. Auto ignitions. It's not on. It says arm. Armed and in, I'm I'm sorry I, I I know that you didn't know that your auto ignitions had arms. It's that prop area clear. Well, looks clear to me. <laughs> clear the propellers. <laughs> Still waiting for my nachos. <laughs> fuel levers both cut off or low idle rather. The fuel. Yep. Low idle. Yep. Okay. And we can uh, start the engines when you are ready. All right, starting number two. <laughs> two is spinach. I'm going to do a number two. And you'll want to hold that until turbine is about 40%. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, come again. Thank you. Pull through the drive through now, please. <laughs> like fries with that for a dollar more <laughs> oh Peter I'm glad you could join us you may be our only visitor today and that's okay and, and it doesn't say much about you and your viewing habits <laughs> yeah <laughs> damn right out of the gate <laughs> what's our cruising altitude today do you know do you remember um it's in the sky I heard it was up. Okay. Uh, All right. Looks like we got a good start on number check two. Your math then. here. Spinning one. Okay. Twenty thousand feet. I heard the fuel bump. Yep. So everybody, um, all point five of you. Uh, we're going to do a flight out of, I don't even know how to say this. I've never been able to say it. Marjor never. Marjorie Taylor Green. No, it's Tonka Tinkan Ton. Ton Tonkantin. Ton 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 Ton. Dear Lord. So we're going to fly out of Ton Ton. <laughs> I've never been able to say it, dude. So we're going to fly out, we're going to land, and then we're going to switch seats. And then we're going to fly back into Tauntaun. <laughs> Boy, have you got a surprise waiting for you at our destination? Because <laughs> you know why? What? There's no charts. <laughs> to fly into Tauntaun? To fly into MZPG. There's no charts in Navigraph. Oh, yeah. That's why it's the most dangerous in the world. you got to know it by memory. Oh, we're flying into the most dangerous airport. I thought on our way back. No, no. Oh, no. On the way out, no. Okay. No. So this ought to be fun. Well, you're going to have your hands full. Oh, I, it both ways. It's both gonna be ways. Yeah. Both ways it's going to be handful. All right. We started engine stack is a looking. Oh, no. We're a little imbalanced there. Okay. There we go. All right. Gen 1 on. Gen 2 on. Uh, Peter asked, what are we running south of the border? <laughs> Nachos. <laughs> With extra cheese. <laughs> That's so wrong. Okay, um, ground power off. <laughs> Ground power is off. All right. Oil pressure checks. Yeah, that looks kind of good. Okay. Uh, pedo heat on. Pedo, pedo, pedos. Pedos okay. on. And go ahead and acknowledge the master caution and warn lights. You might have to press. Uh, I acknowledge you. <laughs> Before I kick your ass. You got to press it again. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, bleeds and blowers on. Now we'll do that and we'll set our cabin altitude to 20,000 feet. Cabin pressure. <laughs> But, okay, that's set. Avionics is set. Uh, nav and taxi lights on, please. Nav and taxi. Okay, I'll get the elevator trim for takeoff. Elevator trim is now set for takeoff. Okay. Okay. Um, we're ready to taxi. Sweet. Holy carpal tunnel. Wait. Did we get our... Oh, okay, it is yeah, set. All yeah, right. we're all set. All right, uh, so looks like we're just going to go ahead and uh, we'll swing around here. We're going to take runway two for takeoff. Okay. All right, parking brake released. Look at you all parking breaking things. Yeah, it's kind of scare relations. All right, and we did taxi checklist is complete? Yes. Okay. Should spin right there. Yeah, Alrighty. Okay. It's a good thing we are not like professional content creators. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, you are you up for this? Hell no. Everything's a disaster with YOLO Airlines anyway. Yeah. It's an interesting little airport. I don't see why it's so hard to get back into. Wait till you... Wait till you see what you got. I cannot believe Navigraph doesn't... Oh, they should have charts for coming in here. Yeah, they do. We'll have, we'll have incoming charts, but not uh, outbound to our destination. All right. That windsock is, uh, oh yeah, 14 mile an hour winds right down the runway. Yep. And the only way, from my understanding, the only way to come in uh -huh. is with that tailwind. Oh, geez. <laughs> That'll be fun. Spicy. All right. Looks like it's clear to me. I'm going to go ahead and get on out. Iowa Scotsman has joined us, hey, hey. and we are just beginning. Oh my gosh, Iowa Scotsman! Welcome aboard, sir. Your visual torture has begun. Yes. Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna do a run up. So I'm gonna set the parking brake. And go ahead and throttle up to about 40%. There you go, perfectly set. Let them catch up a little bit. There we go. And then go ahead and uh, yank those prop. No, 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 no. Go back to 40. Why? You said to go run them all the way back. you got to do the prop levers, not not the fuel, not the throttles. Oh. So throttles to 40. Okay. Okay, and then pull the prop levers back all the way into a beta. Now your torque should go up to a 60% and then come right back down. Prop should come back down. Turbine should come to 80. Okay, yeah, we're good. So if the prop lever is full forward, that's our check. We'll let the engine stabilize a little bit, let them come back up. Okay, you're on the, are you on the brakes? Yep. Okay, I'm unsetting the parking brake. Okay. And we are going. For 80 knots. Whoa. Yeah, she's squirrely, isn't she? Yeah. Does she feel like she wants to go to the left a little bit? Yeah. Okay, you're at V1. Perfect. Nice job. A little bumpy coming out of here. A little bit. Well, this will be fun. Let's go ahead and pull our, pull our engines back just a little bit. Okay, gear coming up. Okay. Wow. 
Lousy. How's she flying? Uh, pretty good. Bumpy as heck. Yeah. Cool. Alright, we got our radio in for which way we're... So it looks like our heading is going to be... Let's try... Um. Wow. Well, I don't really know what to try here. We can go direct Arita. Let's try that. Let's go direct... A-R-I-T-A... Honduras? What? Philippines and Indonesia. I think it's this one. Probably. It, I would say that's a good guess. Yeah, so if you want to do the autopilot thing, whenever you're ready, you can hand fly it as long as you want. But uh, everything's all set up for you. Oh, is it? Yep. All you got to do is uh, engage the autopilot, and, uh, hit nav. And Did you ever... Oh, you didn't get... Wait, what were you working on? Uh, this guy working? right here. That? Oh. Yeah. All right, uh, flaps up. Yep, flaps are up. Okay. I don't think we actually set flaps when we took off. Ooh, yeah, I missed that step in the checklist. But you were all about that, uh, make sure we did the run-up. Yeah, yeah, no kidding, right? <laughs> all right, now we come on a standby. No active failures, cool. And no weather ahead of us either. <coughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> All right. I find it hard to believe there's no charts for this. Yeah, airport. I do find that a little bizarre. Does the airport still exist? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to have an interesting time uh, getting in, that's for sure. Runway is only 2,300 feet long. Nice. And it's going to be spicy because I love to fly into Harvey Field. Mm -hmm. That air, that runway is, is 2,800 feet long, and I barely have enough room. Oh, really? Yeah. So, this well, will be, be fun. I thought this thing could do that. Oh, it can. Well, you tell you what, uh, I've got an interesting one going in, and you got an interesting one going in. Yes, I do. Oh, you don't have an outside view, do you? I actually do. You do? You do it like one, the, like the one I have? Es correcto, directo. How does that look on the stream? Pretty darn good, actually. Okay. Wait a minute. We're going to what airport? MZPG. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is the... Oh, no, disregard. Disregard, I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost already. There are just no charts at all. No. I wonder if we can, there's even an abbreviation for... Uh, ZPG. No matches. That's that's fascinating. All right. So what we do know is we're coming down runway six. Yeah. So it's zero six zero. So what we need to do is set ourselves up for that. Do we know anything about this airport? <laughs> <laughs> well, there, I know there's no charts. That's fun. So it's basically, I'm sure it's a VFR airport then, so. Oh, this is cool. What? On Navigraph map presets, you can toggle the high and low IFR according to your altitude. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, isn't it? But for now, what I want is... Uh, see, we're at 20,000... It must be Groundhog Day. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Right? But that. this time, uh, we're not going to do any outside views this time. No. So, my basically... What I'm going to intend to do is I'm going to come in on the west side of the airport. Uh-huh. Okay? Um, once we cross this bay coming up. Okay. So, we'll go on the west side of the airport... And then once we get dialed in somewhere to zero six zero thereabouts, yeah, we'll make our turn in and start looking for a runway. 
Okay. Oh boy. I mean, that's all you can do, right? Yeah. Especially with an airport with no charts. <laughs> right? So, Punta Corta. Can you get MZPG on here at all? I cannot get anything regarding You cannot. That. Nope. It's not in the database. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. So, I wonder if this is Mexico's version of Area 51. <laughs> well, if there's people with armed guards standing by when we land, then we know. Yeah. Wow, that is so weird. Dude, there's gotta, I wish there was a way you could just take your chat and like post it here or something. Yeah. But for you, it works just fine. Oh yeah. For me, I'd have a broken neck. <laughs> Well, that didn't work. We're still climbing. Oh, uh, yeah, because look what I forgot to do. We're in V-Lock. Okay. Dang it! Okay. Did we experience this once before? Yeah, we kind of did. That's okay. This is going to set us up to go good on the west side of the airport. Yeah. And that was intentional, huh? Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you were just like, you were like playing 7D chest. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. This room is now in followers only mode. Oh. Okay. Disavowed so, players. Yeah, disavowed player. Yeah, banning the ban hammer. All right, hey, disavowed, welcome aboard. Good to have you. So we're still climbing. There we go. That'll work. See, this is why I want to get this thing working because it'll give us a better visual indication as to what mode we're in here. Okay, so hopefully that will get us set up. Actually, I, it really will. <laughs> yeah. That'll work. That's a happy accident right there. Uh-huh. What is she doing? I don't know what you might. We might have to go back into heading mode because we have no further waypoints that we can track to on GPS. Okay. Since so how, how do you get back into heading? There you go. I could cheat. How do I get into heading? Just press heading. It's no worky worky. What? Oh no. I'm on heading. Oh no. Yeah, we're screwed, dude. <laughs> we are so screwed. <laughs> okay, so. Pesca. Let's see if we can go direct Pesca. Guatemala. Yep. Okay, we'll do that. Oh, yeah, there's Pesca. Okay. Yeah. That'll work if he can take us there. And I don't know why she's not engaging. There we go. Yeah, this, it's, it's doing weird things. Yeah, I wonder what's going on. Uh-oh. What happened? Discord what? Uh, we played with it a little bit. Oh, um, d disavowed, uh, but we're not doing it on this flight. Um, yeah, we're, in fact, tomorrow we're going to play with it some more. Well, as long as, yeah, when you wake up. Yeah. Whenever that is. Yeah. So, yeah, tomorrow we're going to fire off the Sims. We're not going to stream or anything, but we are definitely going to give some uh, Discord checks, see if we can get her working. Yeah. Okay, so we can't go into heading mode on the autopilot. Do we have any? No failures. I'm just going to reset all failures just in case. That's odd. Although that 
Well, it's not too odd for me. I have okay. seen that before where I can't engage heading for some reason. Oh, really? Yeah. Alright. It's interesting that. It, see, there's. All that's right there. Yeah. That's where the airport is. Yeah. Where you see those blue fields. And all I did was I extended it. So we're going. We're actually flying to Pesca. Uh huh. Which is in line with this airport right. that doesn't exist. Right. So we're just. We're cheating, yeah. basically. It works. Uh, what time says disavowed? I'm thinking probably two? Two o'clock work for you? Yeah, two works for me. Yeah, I'll fire off uh, fire off the sim and everything. And yeah. I'll, by that time, I should have all the stuff that I got. I should have it all installed. Okay. And then we could uh, jump in and let's see if we could finger it out. Sounds good. Good. So we're 75 miles away. If you want, we can do a descent. Yeah, we probably... What's this distance ring here? That is currently 50 nautical miles. Yeah, so she probably want to start our descent. Yeah. So I don't know what the altitude of that runway is. So it's it's like like 23 feet or something. There's no even taxi charts for this darn thing. Yeah, there's nothing. Uh, hang on here. All right, so I am going to dial in a descent down to 5,000 feet. 59 feet elevation. 59 feet? Yep. All right. No stars, no approaches, no taxi diagrams, no SIDs, not even any, any reference charts. Wow. This is going to be really interesting. Let's see what any procedures. No procedures. And no weather. Well, let me hang on a sec. Uh, so it's, the weather is 2997 for the altimeter. Yeah, dude, she stopped working altogether. I can't get V8, V speed to. I put in the new alti altitude. Yeah. Nothing. Huh. All right, what I'm going to do is just, yeah, let's uh, reset her. So flight director, V. Yeah, she doesn't want to do it. Wow. Huh. There we go. Okay, that was weird. She will not do it. What is going on here? Let's see if she'll do anything on the heading. Nope. Oh, oh, no, she, oh, okay. yeah, she wanted to a little bit. So we'll just leave her there. Okay. I wonder if this thing's trying to override it. What? Oh. <laughs> How can that be? So we I'm only doing 220 knots. Yeah, she does not want to uh, do anything with the altitude. Very hey, dude, this is not responding. Look at yours. Oh, yeah, this, we, oh, that, I've lost, this is dead. Wow. Yeah, this is dead. Okay, I'm going to recycle that system. You'll have to use this as reference. Roger, roger. Okay. Weird. Monterey 
Okay. Okay. Thanks for the warning. Yeah, so much of that. It says I got to re, uh, remain stationary. I don't think so. I think we got a little bit of a problem there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that explains the autopilot weirdness because it was actually doing what we were setting it up to do, but that was locking up on us. <laughs> Altitude is just a suggestion. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Alright, landing lights coming back on. Okay. Look at that, that is so gorgeous. Wow, yeah. Should have found an airport to land in there. That would have been gorgeous to turn into. Mm -hmm. How long does it take for this thing to warm up? I've noticed that. It's, um... I'm going to restart it again. Damn it! I think I scared it. Forty seconds to go, then you'll have your PFD back. Yeah, good, because it's a little hard to... Yeah. Hard to cross-reference over here on this side. You know, just to make things a little more exciting, right? Yep. So I, I'm thinking it's got to be down there in that little that populated little area on the along the coast there. Yeah. That's the way I'm looking at it. <laughs> there we, there we are. Okay. We're back! Yay! We did it! So, zero, six, zero. Alright, there we go. Wow. You're uh, you're doing really well. Well, she's hand. I mean, the smoothness of it, which makes it so easy to handle, right? Yeah. I'm surprised it makes that much of a difference, but it really does. It does make it a huge difference. If you get micro stutters, that means you're always flying behind the aircraft. At least that's what I feel. In, yeah, exactly. In, in this 3.7, it feels like I'm behind. Right. 
but when it's smooth, it feels like you've got the fluidi fluidity is there. Yep. You, the aircraft does feel like an extension of what you're yep. thinking and doing. I'm just running the descent checklist yep. real quick. Altimeter, I think we said it was 2997. Yes. Oh, there we go. No, three, three, I thought you said 3000. Zero, zero, zero. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, uh, hang on. I can do this. Oh, 2997. Oh, okay. I thought you said 3000. Zero, zero, zero. Yeah. Speed, descent rate, flaps are still up. Yep, landing gear up. Okay, fuel balance. Yep, we're still balanced, folks. Descent checklist complete. Okay. I'm going to run your props forward. Okay. Okay, that should be somewhere over there. Somewhere over there, yeah. Somewhere over there. And you've got 2,300 feet of runway to work with. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so we're going to do, obviously, full flaps, gear down, long approach. Yep. And your over-the-fence speed is going to be, if you want, we can go as low as 18, or 118. 125 is the safe over-the-fence speed. 118 is like... Uh, Minimum controllable airspeed. Okay. So you don't get much of a margin if the wind drops out from under you. Okay. Man, this is beautiful. It is. This is. We need to fly more down here in South America. It is gorgeous. Yeah. Now the trick is to try to find an airport in all of this. Right. With no navigation aids whatsoever. I would level out here. That's what I've been doing. Oh, you're turning. Oh, you want to? Oh, you want to stop turning here? Yeah, stop turning. Well, because I want to. Um, well, you want to give yourself a nice long approach, right? Well, I do want to find the runway first. I mean, wouldn't that be a good idea? Yeah, but yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> I want to see if we can find the darn thing. Okay, now you can start your turn to, to 060 or close to that. There's the runway. Got it. Got it. Going in. Flaps okay. there. Gown down. Okay. Uh, no, no gear yet. You're at 230 knots. Dude, there's a the runway right there. We got to get this slowed down. I think it's the runway. Uh, that is four, four, seven, that three, would five, be it. Five, yep, uh, we just got to get slowed five, down. That is correct. And uh, we'll let you know when we're crossing the runway. Got to slow down. Well, we'll go around if we have to. Okay. I'm not, because we're, we're doing this so blind, right? Yeah. In fact, let's just make that decision now. Yep, good idea. Yeah, we're just uh, so uh, pattern. We could just do a pattern thousand right, feet. See, so see that? Um, okay, so we got it. We got it. We got it. Yep. We got the runway. So you want to turn to a heading of like 155 for your crosswind. Yep. And then your downwind leg is going to be at 250, heading 250. Awesome. A planned go around. <laughs> well, now that we found the airport. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we got at least 700 feet underneath us. We can turn crosswind whenever you're ready. I was just going to do a thousand just to be safe. Okay. All right, uh, let's see. All right, turning 155. I think that uh, PFD hung up because we had crashes. Too many, yeah, too many loop through. Yep. It's like, you guys need to make up your mind. Yeah. Make it stop. Okay, and then 
soon as you hit the heading 155, level off, and then go right into your downwind. Yeah, 240. Just to give me a little guide, 240. And then here we go. Okay. And we're still hauling ass. That's weird. And it's because we forgot our nachos. <laughs> well, we're going to go back for our nachos. Well, I don't mind the speed right now as we're doing, you know. Just doing the pattern, right? Hey, look at you. Manual altitude hold. Nice job, man. I'm telling you, it makes a difference when she's got smooth flying, right? Yeah, absolutely. Huge difference. Okay, and then your base leg when you're ready is going to be 340. Well, I think we're going to need to go for a while. Oh yeah, well, yeah, definitely. I'm just, I'm just thinking ahead okay. a little bit. We'll take her all the way out to this little area called Boom Creek. It's right over the river. And through the woods? Through the river. So we'll turn base, and then we'll head towards Boom Creek, and then at Boom Creek we'll turn final. Okay. Actually, a little bit before Boom Creek will turn final. Alright, I'm not seeing it, but... Let me know when we cross it then, because you've got it up on your map, right? Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll continue on a little bit further. A couple more minutes. Okay. And we should probably get her slowed down before we turn base. Or 200 right now. Yeah, I want to be below 180. So we, so well, when we when we turn final, we're we're prepped. Right. So what my plan is then, when you're telling me we're about a couple minutes from turn to base. Yeah. Then we'll go ahead and slow to 180. Well, we're pretty much right there now. We're we are. Yeah. All right, 180. Here we go. <laughs> okay, 737 driver. <laughs> we got the opposite problems. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> You think we're going too slow? I think we're going too fast. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> All right, let me know when you're... So we're going to be turning to... Uh, yeah, so we're turning right now uh, to, to 340. Base. Okay, 340, here yep. we go. I will drop the landing gear after you level off this turn. So when we turn final, we'll be stabilized. Well, sort of. Trees. I wonder how many drug lords we're flying over right now. There's three four zero. Okay, and let's slow her down a little bit more. Ideally, we want to be at one sixty. All right. Well, we need some flappage. Okay. There we go. All set. Your gear's coming down. Flaps are 40 and indicated. Or rather, approach flaps are indicated. All right. And I'll, I'll call for the uh, turn to final. Yeah, because I'm not seeing a runway now. Yeah. Actually, turn right now. Okay. 060. I feel like we're running an interdiction flight. Dude. <laughs> I'm not seeing that runway. Keep turning. Keep, keep the turn going. Because it's going to be over there in that population center. Yep. You're good. You are good. And level off here just to, for a couple seconds. Yeah, because I think we're going to... I got the runway in sight. Do you? Uh, yep. Yeah. It's a little hard to pick up, but yeah, go ahead and uh, continue this heading for a few more seconds. Okay. Because it's... Um, this is blocking my field yep. of view. Yeah, okay, go ahead and turn 060. And airspeed's nailed, 160, good job. 
I have a feeling the runway's more over that way. Uh, it's in that little uh, populated area. It, 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 the charts are kind of weird. I, I think I've got it now. Okay. I think. Okay. All right, gear down, you said. Fla yep. uh, yeah, let's get landing flaps, please. Okay, Coming flaps down, going down. down full. Flaps full down for landing. Gears down. Cross fence speed is 118. Uh, we could do 118. Oh, wow. So the chart here is wrong. Is wrong. Yeah, that was way off. Okay, um, just a quick review on the reverse. Get the mains down, get them planted up and back for the reverse. Okay. Clear the runway! <laughs> Clear the runway! Oh my god, that guy. That's that's going to stick around for a while. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's a postage stamp. That's yes, smaller than Harvey Field. Look at all the trees. Yeah. Wow. Think we can avoid hitting them? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, make sure you get one at 118 on Yeah, I just speed. wanted to make sure I'm not dr dropping too fast. That's yeah. my problem. Yeah. Yeah, 119, 118, 117. There you go. 118, 19. Holy smoke, dude. Okay, and then uh, when you get uh, member reverse and then on the brakes, gentle but firm. 114, 113, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Wow. We did it! <laughs> Holy smokes! <laughs> wow! I'll set you up for taxi. Holy smoke! That was, uh, that was sporty. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'll just park right in here. Yeah, I think we can just do grass. Wow, <laughs> that was fun. Well, there's no sense in filing to go back, is there? No, I'm thinking we just uh, do a hot turn and um, head back. Yeah, just leave her. Yeah, let's we'll do a switch. Yeah, well, you want to do facilities real quick? I'm good. Um, okay, so I'm good. I'm right. Let's just pull bikes and go. Okay. All right. Uh, was it? Oh, a miracle! <laughs> wow, alive! A miracle! <laughs> Gee, Peter, you sound like you fly YOLO a lot. Being creative, are we? <coughs> Alright, so yeah, basically, just fly this straight back, dude. Yeah. Get my, my seat configured here. How did this iPad work out for you? I could barely... I, dude, I drive like... With my face against the windshield, so <laughs> sorry. That's okay. It's it's just uh, it's just the way it is. All right, I'm gonna back us out here. You're not gonna spin around? I I would, but I'm uh, now I'm rolling. I'm a little too I think a little too dangerously close to the buildings. Oh, okay. Do you have your backup beeper? Oh yeah. <laughs> Boy, almost like I planned that or something. I know. What's going on around here? <laughs> Dude, no, I was happy with that landing, man. Dude, sitting over here, this is so much smoother. I'm telling you, you didn't believe me. Well, I, that's the first I've ever heard to not overclock these overclocked carts. So here I am. I'm going to overclock it. I'm going to overclock an overclocked card. Gee, I wonder why it's not working. Yeah. All right, we'll just head off into the grass here. I wonder what I it's bet like. you this could be really cool scenery if somebody did it up. Yeah. Oh my god, it's all about safety at YOLO. 
<laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Install a backup beeper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, I want to do a quick run up just to make sure. Torque's coming up to 40%. Yank the props. There's 60%. There's that. Run up is good. Boy. I'm nervous. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Dude, if I could land it, you can take it off. You're you're the expert at this thing. Okay. Ready? Ready. Landing lights on. Okay. On strobes, too. Yep. Get those torques all the way up there. Don't the forget room. your air meter. My air meter. Your, oh. tube, your tube blower. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'd hate for you to overheat. I don't want to do that. Okay, there we go. Off the brakes. Rolling. Speed tape's alive. Going back to get our nachos. Yeah. We forgot our nachos. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go back. <laughs> 80 knots. Oh boy. There's V1. Woo, doggy. Positive rate. Gear going upstairs. Let me know when you're ready for flaps. Okay. Give me a few seconds on the flaps. And when you're ready, go ahead and I would turn uh, your zero. Oh, yeah, maybe one, two, zero. Yeah, I think so. One, two, zero sounds good. Okay, flaps up. Okay, flaps coming up. Let that settle. And going over to one, two, zero. God, this flies so much nicer. <laughs> wow. Hey, I just don't know why I couldn't overclock my overclock overclock <laughs> card. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know me. But you're right, that is for the tweakers that want to just, like, get every little yep. micro kilohertz out of that, or kilohertz, right? Hertz speed out of it, right? <laughs> yeah, MZ, uh, oh, no. It did it again. It did it again. Why are you locking up? I don't know. All right, my aircraft. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. That's weird. aircraft until I get my gyros back. Yeah, I know. It's so hard to fly it looking over here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you, which you, th that's what I like about my aircraft is I could switch feeders, right? Yeah. So if I wonder I have, if I could figure that. I, I wonder if I could do that. Switch feeders? Yeah. There's got to be a way. If there's a will... Well, the, the MIP's got to come out first. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> right? You know what, though? That's part of the... Now you got to troubleshoot why that's going on. you got to figure out why you can't get outside visuals. Yep. I think it's because maybe they're, maybe they're related. Well, I'm thinking after the first crash, what we, what we should have done... Is just restart Shut everything down. And restart it. Yep. Because you did also change your... Um, video card settings on the fly too. Yes, I did. You didn't restart after resetting them. So, yeah, we could be having some major malfunctions. What we have here is a major malfunction. Yeah. What so, is your problem, nun nuts? <laughs> uh, let's see, MHLN. Let's see if we can at least do this, right? Enter, activate, flight director, nav, autopilot, 
cycle this. All right, she is turning. Oh, Good. yeah, she's under control. I'm oh, going to okay. go back to... Oops, I can't do that yet. Okay, you got your VSA bug at not, man, minus 900. Yeah. There Take you care go. Of that. Okay. Yeah, 1500. There we go. There's that. Uh, oh, she's doing it. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Interesting, huh? Very interesting. Yeah, there's no telling what uh, extraneous bits are floating around after that. Uh, Change your X to a Z. What? Oh, yeah. M M MZPG doesn't show up. That's The airport is pretty, pretty much non-existent. No, but he said change changed your X to a Z. So did you have something wrong in your title? Probably. Thank God for the Sky Marshal. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. <laughs> Disavowed players is uh, invaluable. <laughs> So, okay, yeah, we're direct MHLM, that's good. Wait for this to do its thing again. I, yeah, it's weird how it's locking up, though. Yeah. I, I, well, it's, it's, when a sim crashes like that, it's best to just Yeah, just restart, yeah, just restart. You want to do an outside view? No! <laughs> Uh, what I do want to do is this. You just have real weather, right? Oh, look at that. We didn't you have live weather? Oh my gosh. What the heck? Oh, now we got yeah, it. Yeah, now we got it. Oh, yeah. What the heck, dude? Okay, I'll leave it right there. Oh, look, turn on your Windows firewall. <laughs> <laughs> God, I hate that stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Are we going to have to just call it and just work on it? I, I don't want, well, it's on, it's quarter till three. Do you want to just do a hard boot and start I, I want to, yeah, let's do that. Let's shut everything down. We'll leave the stream going. Yeah, we don't have to kill the stream. No. All right, so hang on, guys. We're going to do a hard boot. Yeah, Ray, I really think it had to do with that Make sure your video card is not overclocked anymore. Because yeah. I was really wanting to do this flight into Tauntaun. You just dropped the stream too? Okay. Nope. 
says they're still here. All right. So make, yeah, so I see that your GPU tweaking has popped up. Um, make sure you, you should just X out of that. Yep, that is. Okay, so that's gone. Looking good there. Man. Great gadzooks. The Ornolthopter. You know, dude, we got that technology from like Area 51. Oh, you set your bandwidth limit? Why'd you do that? You why'd you uh, yeah, I put mine on unlimited. Okay, so now we want to start out at MZPG. No. Zulu. Oh, no. We just landed there. Yeah, let's just start there. Isn't that the same airport? No, it's not. It's not. Because this has got gates and stuff. Al 
You know what? What's that? It, this is Punta Gordo. This is where I landed. This is the exact airport. No. But they've got it mislabeled in the sim. Really? Yep. Yep. This is the exact same airport. They just don't have it as MZPG. Yeah, so that's what's going on. Now where are you going? Look at that. That's crazy. All right. All right. off okay all right so uh got the bleeding blowers off uh ground power on battery on and lights off okay oi okay right no kidding okay 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 so okay <laughs> okay okay you say so this is the exact same airport put the gorda Really? Yeah, it's just, they, yep. Yeah. On Navigraph, they have it as Mike Zulu Papa Golf, but in the simulator, they don't call it that. They call it Mike Zulu uh, something, the last two, something else. Mike Zulu Papa Uniform. Is that what it was? Yeah, because this air, I thought it might have been this airport down here. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Barrios. I thought, but it's not, it's actually where we did land. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> okay, well, let's, uh, geez. Let's uh, start some engines, yeah, let's, I guess. Let, let's rock this popsicle yeah. stand. Uh, I'm just going to start both. Oh, you're going to freaking go for the macho man. Yeah. And we have no sound. I know how to fix that. I'll, I'll get the engine started. I'll step out and fix the sound real quick. Um, oh, i got to cycle these guys. Man, this has uh, been a flight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, you must work for Boeing. <laughs> I think I do. No, because you left the door out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got to fix that. All right, so that's coming on. Okay. Generators on. Reset. Avionics on. Taxi lights on. Pedos on. Those are, we could probably got to recycle those. And we'll set this back to 20,000. Back on. Okay, that's set. Cycle these guys. Yep, 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 and yep. Okay, parking brake is on. Turn off external power. Okay. All right, I'm going to, what was I going to fix? Sound. Sound. Be right back.
Okay, that's crazy, huh? That is crazy. I'm I'm gonna I'm not gonna ask. I'm not gonna get him to push us. I'm just gonna do what I did at the last airport, right? Okay. And parking brake off. Parking brake is off. Don't forget your run up. Yep. Parking brake set. Parking brake is set. Okay. And we'll just do the run up right here. Torque's up to 40%. Oh, come on. 40%, not 50. There we go. Stable. Prop check. Torques go up. Torques go down. Cool. <laughs> Flap set. <laughs> My god, man. All right, parking brake released. Okay. Down that way is where you need to go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, look at that. There's that. You're right. There's that airplane. Yeah. I told you. That, this is nuts. Okay. It's been an interesting day flying, hasn't it? <laughs> it kind of has. <laughs> so that's interesting. So if we do this. Uh, and put in that. MZ. PU, right? I don't know what it was you put in there. No matches. Still no matches. Okay, well. well I, I don't remember. Too bad you can't put in the name Punta Gorda. Yeah, we're going to put it back in SAP. Yeah, La Mesa. Let's do that one. That'll just. Now, you do have an arrival on the stupid, stupid 1D. Okay. That's good that we have that. All right, let's do an outside view and see if it crashes this time. <laughs> now, um, I, you saw that I set my bandwidth to 40 megabits per second, right? Yeah. yeah. I changed that last night, like right before I shut everything down. Because I was chasing my tail again with that stupid video driver, uh, and I never set it back. All right, this looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Landing lights on, strobes on. Okay, going to full power before we release the brakes. Oh yeah, trim. Nose upset. Gasper valve is operating. Off the brakes, here we go! Again. Again. Boy, 80 knots. There's V1! <laughs> Positive rate gear up. And flaps up. No, okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> that was sporty. Okay. Climbing through 500 at 700 feet. We'll pull the flaps in and okay. make our turn. To 120. There it is, 700. All right, flaps coming up. Exactly. All right. Everybody behave. Watch that locks up again on you after oh. saying that. Yeah. That would suck. Like nothing's ever sucked before. Man, yes. And a little more aggressive on the climb here. There we go. Climbing towards SAP out of Punta Gorda. That is so weird that it's mislabeled, especially in Navigraph. But I don't think Navigraph is mislabeled. Do you? Yeah, it shows it as MZPG. Right, and that's how I found it is MZPG in, in the flight plan. When I looked it up on the internet. Yeah. So it's actually Microsoft Flight Simulator has got it wrong. That's right. Yes. Because who flies here? <laughs> Apparently we do. Yeah. Okay. 
espera 979, prosiga directo a Cicro. Ok, Sam. Behave. Yeah, right? Well, if we make it all the way back, it's got, it had to have been that bandwidth adjustment. That's weird. What the heck was I thinking? I don't know. How many shrooms did you take? <laughs> Ugh. You mean, how many do I have in my system now? <laughs> yeah, so what was your thinking on setting that limit on your bandwidth? Uh, I was just grasping at straws because the newest driver was so bad. Really? Yeah. And it was late. I wasn't really thinking all that clearly. Gee, what was this, at 1 in the morning again? Yeah, pretty much. 1 in the morning. I'm dinking around with video drivers, swearing like a Marine, because I, I was kicking my uh, logical self in the butt. Like, what were you thinking, dummy? Yeah, I'm not... Am I, now... My other system, sure, I'll update it, but yeah. that flight sim, not the video card, no way. Uh, yep. Nope. Negatory. All right. I'm kind of surprised we didn't don't have much uh, stream activity. No, it's like nobody's watching us anymore. Of course, I only stream. I was going to say, how you've got a first stream. we got to first be able to stream before anybody wants to hang out with us. Right. You know who I haven't seen from a long time is Sogan. He's probably into his DCS stuff. I think so, yeah. Haven't heard from him in a while. Hope he's doing good. Yeah. Yeah, I love the way Microsoft did the water. you got all these different variations on the surface. Yep. They really did do a good job. Yeah. But according to X-Plane, not supposed to look. <laughs> Don't look. Nothing to see here. Yeah, <laughs> nothing to see here. Move along smartly. <laughs> right. Smartly. That's not in my vocabulary. Uh, mine either. All right, there we go. So I need to get, figure out my sound issue, dude. Because there is that. You can hear it clearly coming across the stream. It's the bzzz. Well, uh, here's what I would do. Um, you're going to do a cable management project, right? Yes. You're going to get clean up all your cabling. What I would do is segregate all of your sound, all of your cables that carry sound, away from everything else. Make it its own separate wire bundle. That'll at least remove everything. Like you're, you're probably running some sound cables next to your power cables. That's never good. No. But do you know how many cables that 3.7 takes? I didn't say it would be easy. <laughs> I'm afraid anymore to unplug anything because I, I it could be, end up being months to get it running again. Right. Yeah. No, really? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I love that sim, but God, it takes, I mean, just to do anything, it's a mountainous amount of work. Yeah. It truly is. Uh, well, here we are. We haven't crashed yet. Everything's... Uh, no, I'm not saying it. Yeah. Not going not gonna to do it. Well, it's what we should have done. Is we just should have restarted the computer. Yeah. Because that re, re you know resetting that video card we should have just done it. Yeah. But I've learned, um, as far as my video cards go, I've stopped trying to overclock them. That was such a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> as I've learned today. Hey, welcome aboard, Fred. Good to see you. Fred loves X-Plane, but Microsoft did it a wonderful job with sceneries. Yes, they have. Even the third-party developers have done a bang-up job on, on scenery, especially Vegas. I just love flying around Vegas. Yeah. 
Well, X-Plane, like we talked about earlier, supposedly um, they're coming out with 12.1. It's supposed to be efficiency improvements and scenery improvements, but I think they're mostly based in clouds and shadowing yeah. right now. Yeah. So. And they still have a plan to continue to improve it, which I'm glad. And you're, you're never in a good position when you're playing catch-up. When you're trying to catch up to your competitors, that, that is a grind. I'd rather be mustard. <laughs> I like onions. I like macaroni and cheese. All right, we'll give it a little more go juice here. It's going to be interesting to see what 2020 does with their 2024. That, yeah. I'm excited. I am too, but you know as well as I do, that's going to be a big old turd burger when it first comes out. It really is. Remember how I had to hodgepodge and, I don't know, just butcher to get a 3.7 working in that thing? Yeah. That was, um, yeah. I got it going, though, but once the PMDG came out, that was nice. How do I get rid of this dumb thing? What dumb thing? This little bar on the bottom. Well, why'd you put it there? I don't know. You put it there. I did not. There's no hide button? Know, what the hell is it doing? It wasn't there whenever I was using it. Oh. Uh, okay, I'm going to figure this out. Uh. That's not it. Huh. Okay, we'll turn those off. Turn that on. Wait a oh, oh, okay, we need that. Maybe we should have flown into San Pedro. Oh, look at oh, look at that. Yeah. I, when you turn weather on, you get that bar. Oh, it's you weather. Turn weather off, you get that. I wonder if you have if you turn on telemetry. What does that do? Nothing. Oh no, it does. <laughs> look at the bottom. Oh, Hit I, telemetry. It tells you everything you want to know. Oh, that's so cool. All righty then. Because you don't have enough of that information right there. Right. <laughs> information overload, right? What altitude am I? <laughs> I don't know where to look. Yeah, um, Fred, uh, I, I was a, well, we were both um, hardcore X-Plane fans. But, yeah. And we both went to MSFS for uh, vastly different reasons. My reason was that when 2020 came out, all of the third-party developers ran for the exits in X-Plane and developed exclusively for 2020, which left me high and dry with my Beach 1900. Yeah, you would have been still flying X-Plane 11 right now. Yeah. So I didn't really have a choice. Uh, how long did it take my conversion? About a year? Nine months, actually. Nine months? Okay. And it's still not all that complete. I still have some extraneous systems that need to be converted like this overhead uh, but that I don't need that for flight yeah who needs an overhead yeah but I do have working windshield okay yeah that's most important right <laughs> it is. out of all of your flights and requirements it's the windshield wipers yes <laughs> which do nothing because it doesn't even ride on top of the glass <laughs> so that that was my journey uh, and I went through a couple of different interfaces to get my controllers to work with 2020. That was fun. I worked with a developer named Hans. I can't remember his last name, but uh, he worked on an interface system for 2020. Uh, but it had some issues early on, and we worked through them. And from what I understand now, it works really well. Yeah. But I, should, I should probably grab his latest update for my gauges. What you should do is do what I did. Just convert everything over to Lua. But I wouldn't mind that. We could do that. Get rid of that little piece of uh, software that you need for your flap gauge. That would be nice to get rid of a software. Yep. 
And I like Lua. Lua is just so easy to script. It really is. And for me, it's been very stable. All of the comp ports always come up in order on the same number comp port. So, yeah. You ever you hear ever the game like Civilization, Civilization 5? Or, I've heard of that, yeah. Well, yeah, game. That's all run on Lua. Really? That's, that's oh, I can't fathom that. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Lua's pretty powerful. Yep. All right, we're coming up on, on our target altitude. Everything is set here correctly. That's set. I can see this is set. Everything seems to be working right now. Yeah. Now it's time for an outside view. Don't you do it! <laughs> do not! <laughs> you know, that make, it's starting to make a bit more sense now because I had my data limit throttled to 40, right? And when we went to an outside view, I bet you it tried to load a whole bunch of scenery and then and said, yeah, sorry, done. No, you said I couldn't do that. Right. Well, once we land and shut down, we should do an outside view and see if it crashes. Yes. Just to, just, just for sheets and giggles. To see if that was the cause. I'll bet you. But I do want to get this, I do want to execute this approach. Because this is one of the more difficult airports to get into. Yeah. Right? Yep, yep. All right, looks like our next waypoint is going to be Arita. Andale, andale. Yeah, enter, and then we'll wait a few more minutes for um, activation. Yeah, you're going to have to make sure to fly this uh, approach. Yeah. So we're coming out of runway two, right? That's what it says. Okay, we're doing the RNAV or the VOR? Well, that's up to you. We can do, let's do the RNAV approach from the north. Do you concur? Hang on, I'm looking at the air. So here, I've got it. Oh yeah, you're gonna come in from the north. Uh-huh. Yeah, look at it, TGO230, okay. So, yeah, look at that. Are you ready for that? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. These tickles. I'm just trying to get a beat on what we're in for here. So it looks like TG009 is our, our uh, initial point, which basically means our last waypoint. So we want to enter this approach at, looks like Arita. Well, yeah, yeah. So you're gonna, from Arita, you're gonna take a course of, uh, yeah. Wow. One, two, zero, or one, two, one, two, eight, into TG002. Now, a uh, question for you. Um, we talked about uh, arriving at runway two, okay. but it lo looks like if we're arriving from the north, it looks like 20 is the runway it favors. See? See? Yeah, I think we're really supposed to come in from the other one. I think 20 is probably our better choice. I'm thinking, yeah. So can we change that? On here. Let's see. I think 20 is what we really should come in on. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how we can reverse the route here in Navigraph. I don't really see a viable way. Huh. Well, we will go by um, this approach. Okay. 
the RNAV approach. So it looks like Melvo, we want to be 9,000 feet over Melvo. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is not the right approach. This is for runway two. Damn it. I think we should have refiled. It would have updated for us. Yeah. You so, want me to go do that? Um, well, let, um, let me see where we're at. Okay, so I'm going to go direct Arita right now. There's our turn. Okay, so I'm going to go reverse the flight plan. Okay. Be right back. Okay. Well, that's just it. We're getting ready to change it. Oh, O2 is showing best winds. Well, we're going to just... He's going to run it in a sim briefing. Um, he's going to have it re, re, re discombobulate. We should have done that, but... Either way, right now we're we, we're coming in, and we could either take two or two four. Still okay. We'll stick with that. Did you uh, did you resend? Yeah, I resent it. So we go to flights, unload, import flight, shim brief. No, that's that's what you, you did. You didn't. We didn't. Uh, nope, you didn't do it. What the heck, over? Yeah, you still have us on the old one. You hit generate new flight, right? There we go. Yeah, it still has us on runway two. Runway two it is. That just makes it a bit more sporty. Yes, it does. So we will have to come in. Do I think it's got us coming on the Lipa 18? So we still have to go to Melvo. That's our initial uh, fix. Yep, Honduras. Let's just go right there, right now. And that is 61 miles away. I'm going to start our descent. It's 9,000. for my banana line. Where's my banana line? There you are. Okay, we are direct Melvo for runway two into Ton Contin. Okay, so let's see. You have, you should be taking us to Lepax. Huh? 
according to the chart, look, L-E-P-A-X. For the Le Lipa 1 Bravo arrival. Do you not have... I am looking at something completely different. So I'm looking at the uh, approach for runway 2, RNAV, and I show Melbo as our initial approach fix, all the way down and around around this mountain area, through this valley, and then up into the runway. Huh, because I'm looking at this, at the, because it's calling for up here, Yeah. at the transition lead packs for the Leap of One Bravo. Okay, you know what I haven't done yet? Huh. I haven't imported that flight. Okay, okay, okay. So let me do that. Okay. Ah. That's right? weird. It is weird. So the approach is what? Zero two, right? Zero two, yeah. From the north or the south? From the north. Well, actually, we're coming in from the south. No, we're coming in from the north. We're, no. we're north of this airport. Not, look at your, you're coming in here. Here we are. Here's the airport. I know, but we're way off course. We're supposed to be flying down to this point. Right, but, but you say we're coming in from the south, but we're coming in from the north. So, what do we do here? Okay. So, if we go to uh, open charts for this airport, we go to... Uh, that's not the right airport. It's still, we should be going to Lee Packs first. We're way off course. That's where we need to go. I would say we need to go first, is get to Lee Packs. I am thoroughly confused because those the, those approach charts do not show Leapax as part as the entry point. Here's your transition. Right, but right there's Leapax. Right. I mean, uh, that I agree. That's our flight plan, but that chart is wrong. That chart, if we're approaching from the north, shows us that we have to enter this approach from Melvo, not Leapax. This is our approach into O2. I don't, if you want to take that, I don't care. It just, we can, uh, well, you're, I mean, the way you're doing it right now, that's where we're going. Yeah. Let's see if Lee Pax is in our um, thing of a bob here. You're going to, you want to fly that circle to land. That's, I mean, that's kind of cool. That's fine. In fact, you might also, I mean, you're there. You might also go. We're so far off and now. I, I kind of prefer that, and here's why. Because over Leapax, we don't have any altitude restrictions over Leapax. So I don't really have any approach information for that. Whereas if we start at Melbo, we've got all of our altitudes that, all along well, the route. We're right now heading to Melbo, so you might also... Okay. All right, I'll make a command decision here. We're yeah. going to go Melbo. Yep. Leapax is kind of a shorter, more uh, direct route, but there's no altitude restrictions there, and I'm not sure what the terrain is. Oh, just about player says that's the arrival he had, too. So, all right. Yep. Okay. So, just do, do, we will go against what uh, our flight plan said. We'll yep. do a flight deviation, call 18, eight, what is it? 8765309. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So, are you prepared to be able to fly that circle to land? Yep, I can fly that. All right. Yeah, this will be, uh, I think, a lot easier because it gives us altitude restrictions all the way down. This other route, not so much. Okay, Q&H is 1019. Okay. Or 30.09. 30.09. Okay, cool. 30.09 coming okay. up, and that's set. Okay, because you're going to want to make sure that's set for this. Yeah, this is going to be critical. 
Alright, there you go. And we're 30, 34 miles away from uh, Melville. And Melville, you need to be at 9,000. Yep. And so far, it looks like we might not hit that, so let's uh, get our banana. Oh, there's our banana line. Okay. Perfect. Well, it's maybe even a little shallower. Uh, a little shallower. <laughs> there we go. That's, that's it. Easier? I don't know why Sim, uh, Simbrief sent us this route and didn't even put that approach in here. In fact, it's the same runway. It's just we're coming from the north instead of south. Because yeah. if you look, it does have you coming in from the south. Right. But a little further south and then up. Yeah. But you're going to come in actually from the north and do the circle to land. Yeah. Which is more cool anyway. I think so. It's a little more of a challenge, right? Yeah, but that there's a big old nice mountain you got to fly between to get there. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be fun. Now, I wonder if it has these waypoints in here. TG017, let's see. TG017, probably not. Oh my god, it does. Okay. Then you need TG015, 14, 13, yeah. 12. So, one, one. I wonder. Can you program it all? So, if we add a waypoint, uh, TG017, enter. TG015. <laughs> All the way down. Yeah. One four. TG zero one four. Oops. Whoa. I blew that one. Okay. Wow. TG zero one three. TG zero one two. Getting close. Look at that, you can even put in your how many feet, huh? Yeah, you can put altitude restrictions. And TG11. And then finally, TG10. And TG09. Oh, what the heck? Where, there's no TG-09. Where do you see that? That's up. Closer to the runway. Oh, I don't see it. Okay, got it. And then TG-006. Oops, disregard. TG010 is our last waypoint. The uh, 09 and 06 are um, go arounds. Yeah, well, you must have it in there. Okay, so that's in there. Would have expected a line or something. Let's just double check our math. Melvo, TG017. Yeah, okay. It's probably because you haven't put in the altitudes or the yeah. distance. 015 is 7,000. Oh, I can't add. That's weird. Oh, do you have to activate the leg? Oh, I do. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to activate uh, 017. I can't activate that one. Okay, well, I'm going to let this play out. 
We're coming up on Melbo. Well, this will be spicy. <laughs> yes, it will. All right, landing lights on. Okay. Oh yeah, this this is gonna be a challenge. Are you ready for a challenge? Are you not entertained? Heading two four seven after Melville. Okay, I'm going to slow us down just a little bit here. Oh boy! We're at 9,000! And a giant mountain in front of us. That's perfect. <laughs> right? Private pilot! Hey, private pilot, welcome aboard. Your last flight didn't go so well. <laughs> well, did you fly the yellow uh, livery? Yeah, you should have seen our last flights. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, actually, I was happy with that landing. Yeah, that was a great landing. Because... Considering the restrictions you were under. <laughs> and the unfamiliarity with the flying this thing. Yeah. But you're getting a lot better at that. I, I wouldn't sell yourself short. There you go with the height jokes again. Sorry. <laughs> it, just, it just comes out. I don't know how. All right, you ready? Yeah, I wonder if we can go to instead 017. Nope, it, we can't activate that leg. So I wonder if it's maybe pre-activated. I don't know. What do you mean you can't? Because our next turn at Melbo is like that way. Right, and that's fine, but be interesting to see what she does. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and hit heading hold as soon as we are able to make our turn here. Actually, should be turning, right? Yeah, I'm going to turn it now. And she's not turning. There we go. I just had to nudge it. Just had to nudge her a little bit. Now, our next restriction is 8,000. Yeah, but TG15, we should be at 7,000 feet. Perfect, so that'll give us a little bit of breathing room. With well, a 747 into Portland and out of Bismarck. Well. That's the one thing that's great about simulators, you can always try again. Yep. <laughs> yes, you can. Ooh, this is going to be busy. Okay, so now that's a good sign. TG017 is our active leg. Our next leg is, is in white, so that knows that tells me it knows where to go next. It knows what to do. Yes. Now we're going to go down, continue down to 7,000.
boy, it doesn't give you any more. At 15, you're supposed to be at 7,000. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And at 14, you're supposed to be at 6,776. There's our turn for TG-15. That's nice. There you go. Okay, so far... Oh, good. Look at it. Look at it. It gave us the whole route in. Holy crap. That's nice. Good. Nice. Oh, so all, all we got to do is worry about altitude. <laughs> this is a this is a pretty uh, technical approach. Yeah. She seems to be behaving so much better after that hard reboot. Yeah, I think that's what she needed. She just needed a swift kick in the butt. Mm -hmm. Take it out and curb and kick its ass. Well, this will be fun to watch. Right? The scenery here is not bad. Yeah. At TG-14, we need to be at 6,776 feet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to round that up to 68. <laughs> now I'm going to round it to 67. Go. And there's our turn for 14. Wow, she's doing it. I wonder if this is a difficult approach only because it's so technical. I don't know. If you ever watch some of those videos, you're just like, oh, yeah. I mean, you look outside and there's like the mountains right there. Yep. You're like, <laughs> and people are watch out on their patio drinking coffee, watching them land. Yeah. You're like holding up signs, nine point eight. <laughs> All right. We'll watch airspeed there. Give it a little more go juice here. Let's uh, let's run our uh, approach and. Uh, and at 13, you're supposed to hit 6236. Okay. Yeah, private pilot. Hey, thanks for joining. Um, yeah, this this uh, these last few flights have not gone well. Yeah, auto feather armed. Auto feather is armed and okay, indicated. Props high <laughs> RPM. Armed and I mean high. Yeah, fuel lever is full. Full. Uh, let's see, flaps to approach when we're below 180. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, gonna, do fla I'm gonna do approach flaps now. Let's see, because I think we're gonna have our hands full. You always say GG13. I'm just thinking ahead. GG13 is a 6200. Okay, verify the parking brake is off. The parking brake is off. We'll cycle that just to make sure it is and off. Elevator trim as required. Well, right now we're under autopilot control, so we have to make a turn after TG-11, and, and that turn is like tight. Like a tiger. Yeah. Holy smoke, that's going to be a tight turn. Okay, I'm going to drop the gear, and I'm going to go full approach flaps. I want to be stable before we make that final turn. Like you are now? Well, we're still kind of circling in. So at 12, we need to be at 5,500. Dear Lord. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, see that turn? Yep. Jeez. Yep. And I don't see anything. Nope. <laughs> Whoa! Watch that airspeed, Ray. I said that earlier. I caught it earlier, but I'd let oh, it go again. And at TG-11, we need to be at 4,000 feet. I'm just going to expedite that now. Holy smoke, where in the hell is the airport? <laughs> it's along the river. TG-10, we need to be at 33. I'm going 33. Just gonna short circuit that whole thing, right? Yep. 
forward to send the expect uh, I'm glad we put those waypoints in I there. I think that's the runway right there. You got better eyes than I do. It's right at probably your... Oh my god, that's it? That's it. Holy smoke. That's what I'm talking about. You can see, you got you can't go down because the ground's right there. <laughs> oh my god. That's what I'm saying. You're going to nosedive in, dude. Okay, uh, final gump check. There uh, it is. Yep, there it is. <laughs> now careful, you got the mountain right there. Yep, I got it. <laughs> uh, oh man. Okay, watch my airspeed for me. This is going to be spicy. Wow, that is a tight base. And they do this with three sevens. That's insane. Here we go. Can you say go around? Um, no. <laughs> you got, yeah, you're too high, dude. I'm working on it. One ten, one twenty one, yeah. one twenty two, one twenty three. You gotta slow her down. You just, yep. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Gliding her in. Good, 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 good. There you go. Look good. Look good. One twenty two, one twenty one. Watch out for the trees and the mountains. It's got a bunch of buildings right there. One fourteen, one eleven. 110. <laughs> 50 knots. Ooh. How cool was that, dude? That was fun. Wow. This is a good airport here. That was a good air. That was a good approach. Yeah. Holy smoke! That was tight. I love those those circling approaches. Yeah, I do too. I absolutely love them. How cool was that though, huh? That was a blast. <laughs> yeah, disavowed. That was nice, wasn't it? There's That's so funny. He's like, there's your runway right there. You're yeah. like, what? <laughs> no, it's like we're right on top of it. I've had some tight base turns before in real life, but not like that. <laughs> yeah, you did that good, though. Thank you. All right, we're going to take this line. Hard to tell. There it is. That was a blast, man. We got to do this more often. <laughs> yep. That's why whenever I saw that, it's like, oh, we've got to do this. You, have you done KTEX yet? No, I have not. You haven't done KTEX? I haven't. That's where you fly between the mountains and then you land on this cliff. Nope, haven't done it. Is that the one we usually misspell or mispronounce? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. You have to chart show it's not a real, real close. close. Yeah, so if you're not on, I mean, you've got to have that loaded. You can't fly that by hand. There's no way. Because a couple of feet off to the right. Yeah. There's this one. They show these guys in this 3-7, and it's pouring rain. Oh, jeez. And they're just like... And yeah. everything's like, whoop, whoop, terrain. <laughs> whoop, whoop, too slow. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> everything. <laughs> and, it, and it's like, you're just like riding this thing in. And you see this building go by. <laughs> you're like, damn. <laughs> and then, you see, like I said, you see this building and trees go by. And, and all the alarms are going off. And both these guys are just sweating, right? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, there's the runway. Yeah. You're like, dang. God. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Th thanks for that. That was yeah. that was a lot of fun. Wow. And we didn't die. No. <laughs> Imagine that, Stan. Okay. Sweetness. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for us yeah. today. Uh, after, the, after the cold, hard reboot, she behaved perfectly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that she needed to have her ass kicked. Yep. So, good, good that we did that. 
Because I didn't want to be like halfway into that approach. And then, and then could you imagine? It, oh yeah, that that was, it would have yeah. sucked like nothing's ever sucked before. <laughs> Anyway, I think that's going to do it for us today. Uh, thanks for joining, everybody. Just about player, great to see you. Private Pilot, great to see you. There was a couple people that have scrolled off the screen here that I can't see, but thank you for yeah, joining. Yeah, that's a bummer, yeah. Yeah, i got to figure that out. But I think you're right. Yeah, well, Iowa Scotsman, I don't know if he's still with us or not. He's he, probably streaming himself right now. Probably, yeah. I'm glad. Oh, and Fred, you can't forget about yeah, Fred. Yeah, Fred. You didn't, you didn't do the trouble like we call here in Brazil. Oh! It goes fast. To, oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely Discord tomorrow. Uh, probably 2 p.m. ish Pacific. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll pop it in the Discord with you, Disavowed, yep. once we think we got it nailed down about somewhere around 1400. Yeah. Yep, uh, absolutely. So looking forward to that. Fred, thanks for joining. Uh, great to see you. Uh, and I think that's going to be it. I think we're going right. to shut down and uh, well, let's. Uh, Kill the engines, and we'll see you on the next one. We'll see you on the next one. We'll wait for 12% uh, power here on the turbines. Outside view. And there it is. And see you next time, guys. You have choices when you fly. That's why the people at YOLO Airlines are surprised when you choose us. When the YOLO jets are flying, some days we're really trying Sometimes it's almost like we can A family trip, that special friend, an important customer Whatever your reason to fly, you might get there safely on YOLO Airlines Some pilots make it look so easy Every YOLO flight is an adventure Every in-flight meal, a trip to the lavatory. You'll be really glad to land. Yolo. We love to fly, but we don't know how. We don't try very hard, and it shows. You'll never be late, because we never depart on time. So sit back, try to relax, and let YOLO pilots point out the sights. Peter says port... Arenas, what? the right wing. Isn't that what he said? Port. <laughs> what? Port. <laughs> Can't even say it. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Right? Port. No, I'm Port Arenas. <laughs> Arane Sass, Aaron Sass, <laughs> or Uranus. You only live once. That's the spirit of YOLO Airlines. So when you're ready to fly, there's one airline ready to serve you. Poorly. YOLO, we love to fly and we'll learn somehow. We don't know how to fly and it shows. We're just, we're done. That didn't go well. <laughs> <laughs>